Oscar Pistorius is set to be released on parole on Friday. Tomorrow, the former Paralympian was convicted of murdering his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, on Valentine's Day in 2013. NGO Women for Change regards his release from prison as a short of justice not served. A spokesperson for the organization, Bolelwa Adonis, joins me now for more. Um, Adonis, thank you for being with us. You say that he should have served his, his full term and only that would set an example. Why? I think it's because um, in a country like ours that has endured so much and, you know, the fact that we have the title of rape capital of the world and the fact that our femicide rate is five times higher than the, the global average, I think it is only important that a, a story like this, especially a story um, like Oscar's one where it um, got international traction, I think it is important that it is high time somebody takes full accountability because what message is this conveying to, I guess, the greater society that there's a normalization of leniency when it comes to any, for any types of predators? Should this case be lumped with all cases of femicide or gender-based violence? And the only reason I ask is because judges found him guilty of murder um, because he mm. shot through a door and somebody was behind that door. Obviously, he said it was a burglar, um, but the, the last judge said it didn't matter who was behind the door, he was still guilty of murder. So, so he wasn't found uh, specifically to have had the intent to kill Riva Stenka. I think at the end of the day, um, the thing that we are mainly focused on is the fact that this person took a life. So I, I don't know, which, whichever category people want to lie it in, I think it is mandatory that we take a, um, a, we acknowledge the fact that a life has been taken, that um, Riva is no longer with us and her family and her loved ones can no longer live out any more memories with her. 